One, two, three, four. This is the first song in the book that really has the hands working together in a vertical fashion, playing at the same time. And what I would suggest to practice this is just look at the vertical sonorities that occur in the second, third, and fourth measures. So in measure two, you're looking at this chord, with, and I'm pulling my fingers away to show you which fingers to use. So when you play, do let those fingers be on the keys. Again, the first chord in measure two. It's a very slight change to this third beat. And then measure three, again, just a very slight change. We're taking this one away and we're making this flat. And then to measure four, we're skipping down to an F and we're taking the white notes on either side of this B flat, so the A and the C. My tip then is just to practice these four vertical sonorities, or called chords, in a row. It doesn't have to be in an exact rhythm, but you do want to get faster as you switch between them, that the switching is fast. So, for example, first chord, second chord, third chord, third measure, and fourth measure. And eventually I'll get even quicker with that. Now, before you go and plug everything back into the piece, the last step is the most crucial one. You have probably been looking at your fingers, directing your fingers what to play with your eyes, which means you're not looking at the music. So as soon as you feel confident with this stretch of four chords, be able to do it when you are not looking at your hands. So look, focus solely on the music score and see if you can still play with the correct fingers. A lot of times, the first time looking back at the music and not looking at your hands, your hands will freak and you'll play extra fingers. So really get that ironed out before you play the whole song.